Hello everyone, this is Pampi Morandante again and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today, I'll be talking about functions part 2. This is actually a continuation of what I have discussed in the beginning of the function, which is the introduction of functions. Here is the link if you haven't, haven't watched, watched it. it. Okay, now today specifically I will be talking about how are we going to restrict the domain of the functions because some functions might lead to arithmetic that cannot be carried out. Okay, so that is what we are going to talk about today. So to explain further, here we go. Okay, I made mention of this earlier that some functions might lead to arithmetic that cannot be carried out such as division by zero or finding the square root of a negative number. Okay, the question here is, what are these functions where we can represent this division by zero and finding the square root of a negative number? Okay, I have here an example. Look at this function here. And this is what we call a rational function from the word ratio, meaning fraction. So look at the function here. It is in a fractional form. Look at the denominator. We have here um, the denominator, which is x minus 2. Okay, in this case... Um, what do you think is the value of x that makes the given equation, that the given denominator becomes 0? Okay, so in that case, if we are going to divide 3 by 0, and that's not possible, I'm going to show here in the calculator, so that's it. It becomes undefined. Okay, okay. now I have here another function. Look at this. This g of x is equal to the root of x minus 4. Do you recognize this function? And this is an example of a radical function, wherein um, finding the square root of a negative number is not possible here. Like for example, if x here is becomes x here is equal to three, what will happen to the function? I'll show you in the calculator. It becomes negative, and that's not possible in the calculator. Okay, so that is possible in the, another concept of mathematics, which is already uh, not included in our curriculum. Okay, so now let's proceed. Um, in such cases, guys, it is very necessary for us to restrict the domain so that the function is properly defined. That is, uh, some values might need to be excluded from the domain of the function. Okay, so now let's give more exercises to understand it better. Okay, I have here some exercises where we can figure out on how to restrict the domain of the given functions like um, rational and radical functions. Now, now, problem number one is to state the value of x that must be excluded from the domain of the function. And the function is f of x is equal to 16 over x plus 1. It's a rational function. And take note of the keyword there, it's excluded. In order to do this, look at the denominator. We need to just equate the denominator to 0. Okay? And through equating it to 0, we can figure out what number we can add to 1 to make it equal to 0. So there you go. The value of x is equal to negative 1. And then you would say... Therefore, x should not be equal to negative 1, okay? Because that should be excluded. All, and you would say all real numbers except negative 1 must be excluded from the given function, okay? So that's how you do that. Okay, up next, problem number 2. State the value of x that must be included from the domain of the function. g of x is equal to the square root of negative 3. Square root so of x minus 3, rather. To solve the problem, just simply equate this time the radicand. What is the radicand? The one inside the radical sign, which is x minus 3, equated to 0. So you have there x is equal to 3. And then, how will you answer the question here, which must be included? Then you would say x should be greater than or equal to 3. Or you would say all real numbers greater than or equal to 3 must be in included. Why? If you let x is equal to 3 here, then that becomes equal to 0 and you can get the root of 0. If you are going to consider the number below 3, let's for example, 2, what will happen? That becomes negative 3 and that's no longer Negative possible. 1, I okay? mean. Sorry so for that. So that's how you answer this particular problem. Okay, the last problem here is... The function f of x is equal to x squared plus 6 has domain all real numbers and this is a quadratic function and we are asked to find out the range of f of x. Now remember that uh, in terms of domain and range, the domain is the x and the range is the y. Observe how are we going to solve this problem. So look at this. Now remember that this one is also equal to this, y is equal to x squared plus 6 and we are doing this in order for us to change the subject of the formula and this is how we do the changing of the subject, remember in mathematics 1, so that's how you do it and this is now in radical form and remember how to find out the range in terms of this, 
we can do some restrictions now and then you would say that the range of f of x is equal to x squared plus 6 wherein x such that x is greater than or equal to 6 or you would say that the range of f of x are all real numbers greater than or equal to 6 so that's how you do that in one minute thank you and that's it guys thank you so much for watching and see you again in my next vlog and don't forget to like and subscribe bye